Yo, man. What y'all boys doing here, bruh? I just woke up. But y'all know who it is, man. It's your boy, June 2. <laughs> Hold on, where my clothes at? Give me a second, bruh. That's more like it, man. Smooth, man. Ooh, hey, smooth on the two. If you're new to the crew, you know exactly what to do, man. Hit that sub button. But look, 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 look. Y'all seen the title of the video, bro. I'm giving y'all top three tips to add to your daily routine. That's gonna help you overcome that little addiction. That's gonna help you overcome that little problem, you feel me? We know that crew over here, we smooth crew. Y'all know we all about getting ourselves better. Y'all know we all about being better, man. Y'all know we all about self-improvement and being the best version of ourselves that we could possibly be. Now, with that being said, we will never be able to attain that version of ourselves if we're limited to touching ourselves every single night and we're limited to giving into our bodily urges. You know what I mean? We gotta overcome our physical limitations in order to become the best version of ourselves mentally and physically. Now, with that being said, here's number one, man. Look, 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 look. I'm going to get straight to it. I'm going to need you to do one thing before we get straight to it. I, I know, I know, I'm taking a minute. Just give me one thing, though. Look, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And one more thing, bro. Comment down below Smooth Crew and comment down below your street, bro. Let's see how many days you done win. Comment down below your street, you feel me? Keep it a buck, keep it a honey, you feel me? If you don't fold it once or twice, you know what I mean? Just, just go ahead and say that, you feel me? And explain why, you feel me? But either than that, man, let's get straight to it. This is tip number one that you need to add to your daily routine, bro, to overcome this little addiction, bro. Tip number one, bro, when you wake up in the morning, do not get on your phone, fam. Let me say this again, because maybe I ain't listening. When you wake up in the morning, do not touch your phone, fam. Don't touch it. What I do personally, man, is I put my phone in the restroom or somewhere far away from me. And when the alarm goes off, I have to go turn it off, but I'm not touching it. First thing I do in the morning is I pray. I get on my knees. I pray to the most high. I pray to God. You feel me? Now, if you're not Christian or if you're not religious, I recommend you do pray. But if you don't, you're not accommodated with that, you can do something to replace that portion of your life, whether that's waking up immediately and going to go cook. Whether that's waking up and reading a book, you know, you, you you gotta educate your mind, you know what I mean? So that's tip number one, man. Tip number one is replace the first thing you do in the morning with something productive. Utilize your first thing in the morning with something productive because the first thing, the first 20 minutes of when you wake up determine your rest, the rest of your day, okay? So make sure it's positive and make sure it's productive, okay? That's thing number one. Thing number two, just for you, man, get a planner, bro. You gotta add a plan into your daily routine, y'all. And here, this is why I say this. Unless you have photographic memory, bro, you're gonna forget a lot of things. And when you do that, you give yourself time to have leisure time simply because your spaces aren't occupied with something to do throughout the day, every single hour of the day. Now, I don't mean be a workaholic and work every second of the day, but I mean try to avoid having time that's not prepared for. Because honestly, who adds touching themselves to their daily task routine? Probably nobody, right? So when do you think you end up touching yourself? When you have nothing to do at that time, when it's when you don't have anything planned for that moment. So try to have a consistent schedule, and that's why I recommend getting yourself a planner. I personally have a little small planner with also a business plan in there and things like that. But just for you, could just it could just be a notebook, bro. But just make sure you have your daily tasks on there so you stay on task throughout the day and you're staying busy so you could avoid having leisure time, which will help you avoid in turn getting on that phone or getting on that computer or, or you know what I mean getting in that bed and doing what you gotta do you feel me don't do that this is thing number three that you gotta add bro this is a necessity that you have to add fam you have to add this you have to talk to people get outside bro get outside of the house bro now call me crazy but I don't know too many people who just go outside and touch themselves or are in the living room and, or, 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 or at a little function or a party or a little kickback and they over here doing this. That's not very common, bro. So when do you usually have time to do that type of stuff? It's probably when you're alone, when you're in your room, when you're in your house, when you're, when you're, you know what I mean? Away from society, when you're excluded, you know what I mean? Now with that being said, I don't have anything against 
being by yourself, I actually prefer being by myself throughout the day because it allows me to focus and allows me to get stuff done. But I do recommend you throughout the week having two or three events that you go to. Now, it doesn't have to be a big event. It could be church. It could be a family meeting. It could be a family gathering. It could be it could be school. It could be a library. It could be just you talking to one person and hanging out with your friends. But you got to have some type of social interactions, bro. And with that being said, for my young men out there, I recommend that you interact with women, bro. You have to interact with women. It is a necessity because that allows your mind to, to, to get a different perception of women. You're not just sexualizing them. You're actually understanding who you're talking to. See, me on one end, and I interact with women all day, every single day. They always bring their friends over. I'm on a college campus. I work with women, you know? So with that being said, my perception of women is not simply sexualized, right? I can sit there and have a full-blown Full blown adult conversation with a woman or an intellectual conversation that doesn't have to include sexual tension simply because I'm a man, you know what I mean? So, with that being said, my perception of women has been changed. And that's it, man. That's really my top three advices of things you need to add to your daily routine, bro, to really overcome this addiction and become the best version of yourself that you possibly can be, man. Now, with this being said, man, listen. I got like 20 of these advices, like almost 50, but I can't fit them all on video, you hear know I me? Mean? At the same time, I do feel like I do need to upload more often. So look, I'm gonna make a deal with you guys. I'm gonna upload three videos a week um, in regards to this topic. And then I'm gonna try to upload at least one separate type of video, whether that's a vlog, a public interview, a social experiment. Y'all let me know, man. Listen, go to my IG and follow me. The Instagram is at june 2 smooth underscore so underscore j-u-n-e-2 s-m-o-o-b man and look on there that's where i usually post my polls and that's really what determines what i do on my youtube channel man and if you can't get on there if you're not on instagram you can go ahead and comment it in the comment section bro that would really be appreciated but either than that man listen Please like the video that lets me know that you guys like this type of content comment down below that you do like these type of videos i've been reading y'all comments y'all really been showing some love some more that really keeps me motivated and keeps me going man but either than that bro hey i'm so lit because i know i just gave y'all so much advice bro i'm so excited to see how many of you guys apply this to your game apply this to your daily routine and y'all see how much it changes your life up man because look we got to overcome this addiction we got to take over 2022 no fat game smooth game either than that though man we is gone Ugh.